All right, Kerbal tutorial, another one. Let's go. Fu Wong asks, how do I change my trajectory from horizontal to vertical, 90 degrees to 180 degrees. Fuang, if that's your real name, that is a great question. So it sounds like you want to do a polar orbit. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like this comment real quick. There you go. Yes. Speaking of liking, if you could like this video and subscribe and hit that bell button, it would mean a lot to me. And also, it will help me afford some super glue so I can fix my headphones. So I can fix my headphones right there. It's a sad, it's, it's sad. Anyways, let's get into the video. All right, let's do this. Polar orbits. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use the old rocket from the last one because I don't feel like building a new one. Um, just like the Mun Lander, nothing special. All right, so if you're wondering a little bit about the rocket, it's very simple. You just want a nice big stage on the bottom, a good middle stage right here, and then you have our payload here with this upper stage that helps get the payload into orbit. We're not going to worry too much about the lander itself. What we're going to do is just focus on the orbital aspects. There's a lot of ways to get into a polar orbit. I'm just going to show you a few. From there, you can expand and uh, you know, try different ways on how to do the same thing. There's a lot of ways to do this. I know somebody in the comments is probably going to say something like this more efficient way. Yes. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm just gonna show you a few of the ways that I like to do it. And then from there, you can get better. Basically, to act as a foundation for people who are trying to learn these uh, orbital maneuvers. So let's go ahead and get this launch started. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing off the ground. So normally when I do these launches, I tend to go to the right over the sea because it works better with the rotation of Kerbin itself. Uh, but in this case, um, instead of going into the sea, you can just start going straight north. Once we get hit about 150 meters, we'll start heading north. There we go. We'll just slightly tilt the rocket. We don't want to tip it too much at the moment. That's a nice shot. We're just gonna check our trajectory here. It looks good. Looks like we're heading right exactly as as uh, planned here. Just add a little bit of that prograde right here. There we go. And just make sure that we get a full circularization around Kerba. Now we're still a little bit low to the atmosphere, and that's okay. And as we approach our maneuver point, um, we're gonna go ahead and get that maneuver node. Now again, if you are not playing with any kind of like remote control hardware on your ship, you'll have to do this manually on the nav ball. All right. So we'll go ahead and start that burn. Looks like we're skimming across the atmosphere just a little bit, but that's all right. We're just making sure that we get enough of that speed to get around curb in here. But it looks like we're good. All right, so looks like we're on our polar orbit now. Uh, we were a little bit closer to the atmosphere than I would have liked, but that's okay. Little mistakes like that will happen, and that's nothing to worry about. Fairing's a little bit warm. Hey, and there's the northern lights. Look at that. Or the auroras, I should say. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to let our ship go all the way around, get to that apoapsis, because this is going to be the most fuel-efficient spot to burn. So we'll just raise that periapsis a little bit in a pro grade. There we go. And then we'll just get to our, our uh, maneuver position here. And while we're getting into position, I'm going to go ahead and drop the fairing. Alrighty, and get another good shot of those aurora borealises right there. Very cool. Gotta love it. All right, so it looks like we are now in our maneuver node position. We'll go ahead and warp speed to the uh, to the next burn. The reason I like to wait to the maneuver is just when you warp speed, all these other nodes here, they'll kind of shift as you warp speed, but the only one that doesn't shift is the maneuver node. Don't know why, it's a nuance with the game, but uh, there you go. Just a little, little trick that I've learned that helps me, and uh, hopefully it helps you. All right, we'll go ahead and do that burn now. And voila, we are uh, in a polar orbit. Now this is just how to get into a polar orbit straight from the launch. Um, this is not how to get from a horizontal like our space station here into a polar orbit. So I'll show you that right now. Uh, but before that, quick fun fact. So Kerbin does not have a tilt like, uh, like the Earth does. So that means that if you were to land on that pole right there, the sun would never set. It would always be just over the horizon. If you can if you can manage to hit dead center on the pole, you'd always see the sun somewhere along the horizon, no matter at what time of the day. Just a fun fact, in case you were uh, wondering, which I'm sure nobody here was, but I thought I'd share anyways. All right, so you've already seen the launch. We're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna skip straight to the orbit, so you don't have to wait. 
All right, so I'm just going to put us into an orbit just above our space station just so we can see the difference between the lines. We're basically the outside orbit here. All right, so now we're in orbit around Kerbin, but on an equatorial orbit. We're, we're going to be going from this orbit and into a polar orbit from space. Now, in order to do this, you do want to make sure that you have enough delta V to pull these off. That being said, you can apply these uh, principles on other places like the Moon or Duna or wherever. You just got to make sure you have enough fuel for this. Changing from a horizontal to a vertical orbit will also take up a lot of your fuel. So, but uh, basically, to get us started, We'll go ahead and add a maneuver. Um, you can do either one of these anti-normals from the horizontal. It doesn't really matter, um, but we'll we'll go with the uh, we'll go with this one here. But just uh, pull it all the way over. Now, when you do this, you're gonna be adding a ton of energy, like a lot of energy, into your orbit. As you can see here, we just put our trajectory to who knows where. In order to fix that, just go to your retrograde position, add a little bit of a retrograde burn to your planning here, and it'll also fix your polar orbit. There you go. Bam. All right, we are into our maneuver node now. So we'll just warp ahead to get that burn started. All right, and we're off. So we're doing our polar uh, polar orbit burn. Going from a horizontal to a vertical position will take up a lot of speed. I'm not super worried about being fuel efficient, but this rocket here that we built for the moon landing mission has plenty of Delta V to get this done, so. And there you have it. Now we are in our polar orbit. Now, of course, we've left a lot of space junk. I'm not worried about the space junk, so we're just gonna let it be. But I just really wanted to show you how you can get into these polar orbits. Obviously, from here, you can also, um, if you wanted to fix your orbit a little bit, it's really easy to do from here. It looks like we're pretty dead on, but let's say you're crooked a little bit. The easy way to fix a crooked polar orbit is just put a maneuver node right at the equator of your planet or whatever the heck it is that you're orbiting and just play with the anti-normal and normal positions. And it's really easy to fix your, your uh it's really easy to fix your orbits. Like I said, by doing these, you do add energy into your orbit, which will raise your apoapsis or periapsis or wherever it is that you're burning from on what position. It will raise your orbit up, so in order to fix it, you'll just adjust your prograde and retrograde burns, and that'll keep your orbit under control from shooting off into who knows where or shooting straight into the planet, whatever, but just make sure you uh, adjust it as you adjust your anti-normal anti and normal maneuver nodes. But since we're here, maybe we can get close to Kerbin's polar ice cap. This is gonna be a little bit of a bonus here, but uh, why not? Since we're here, let's see if we can get as close as we can to the center of Kerbin's polar ice cap. Let's add a maneuver node here. And uh, I know it's a little bit high. Some of you mentioned in my last tutorial video that it came down a little bit high. Yes, that's just how I prefer to do a landing. You can do it however you want. I'm just giving you a little bit of a foundation to start from and you can build up from there. We're gonna, we're gonna do this a little bit of the hard way. But anyway, let's see if we can get ourselves to land on that uh, polar ice cap there. Now, I know this is a bit of a high altitude to be coming down from, but in this case, this is a polar orbit. We don't have to worry so much about the rotation beneath us since Kerbin does not have a tilt like the Earth. It is uh, at a flat, I don't know, what we, how do you call it? Zero degrees relative to the sun. So we don't actually have to worry about it rotating from under us very much because the center is always going to be at the center. Uh, the only problem is it's kind of hard to tell where the center actually is here. So we're just going to kind of eyeball it and see uh, how close we can get it. And we just yeeted our capsule into space. We'll see how this goes. This lander does not have any kind of parachutes. It was not meant to land on Kerbin. It was meant to land on the moon. So we might not actually survive this. We'll just take a look at our trajectory here. Everything looks good. I'm gonna make a guess. I think this is actually the center. We get into our retrograde position here. I'm gonna burn a little bit further because I, be I believe that might be the uh, the center. Now it's gonna get hot. We're gonna be coming in really fast. The first big problem is trying to survive the atmosphere of Kerbin. And like I said, this thing was rated to land on the Mun, not re-land on Kerbin. So the part that was rated to land on the <laughs> on Kerbin has been yeeted into a polar orbit for all eternity. So we'll see how we do here. All right, so we just gotta survive this part as long as we don't get too hot. Oh, we're getting some heat over here. Oh, and that's what I was worried about. But it looks like we're okay. All right, the next part, crucial to our survival. We're gonna bring this down to a slow burn. 
There we go. Keep a close eye on that ice. Thank goodness for the atmosphere, though. It is slowing us down a bit. We'll go ahead and lower the landing gear. Slow ourselves down just a tad bit more. Keep an eye on our altitude here and our fuel. We have to bring ourselves down to less than 10 meters a second before we hit the ground. Oh, can we do it? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. And we did it! We are on the polar ice cap of Herbin. I don't know if we're actually in the center, but uh, eh, we'll see. Oh, and you know what? I probably should extend this ladder. Yeah, it's, a, it's not quite as light. Sorry, buddy. Oh, <laughs> uh, now that's a selfie right there to put on your wall. Probably doesn't need that helmet, but eh, yellow. Hmm, uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but uh... Whatever. Let's put a flag up here. Polar ice cap. We did it. We did a good job. Awesome. All right, so moment of truth. How close to the center did we get? Only way we can test it out is by warping ahead and seeing if the sun dips at all. If the sun dips, then we're not quite at the center of Kerbin's ice cap. Uh, but however, if it stays pretty constant across the sky here, then we know we're pretty close to dead center. So let's go ahead and see, uh, see how close we got it. Oh, it is rising a bit, so we're not quite at the center. But I think we did okay. There's a small dip right there. Whoop. And uh, kind of a little faster than I wanted here. And there it comes back up again. Alright, so we weren't too far away of the center, wherever that is. It's kind of hard to tell when you're in orbit looking at the clouds or looking through the clouds, but I think... Uh, I think we did pretty good. Good job, crew. Now all we gotta do is send the rescue team because we are out of fuel and uh, and this lander isn't going anywhere. <laughs> That's all I have for you on Polar Orbits. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to make another video about uh, any kind of Kerbal related uh, questions that you may have. Anyways, guys, there you go. Hey, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for the next video. See you there.